Hey YouTube, let's do a shrimp update. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian and I'm coming at you today with an update on the shrimp tanks. Um, didn't get one out in November, so we'll call this December. I'm not sure when this will load to YouTube, but I am recording it on December 1st. So we'll uh, just kind of start off here and go through all the tanks like usual. Had some ups and downs um, in the last few months, but I'm just trying to stay positive and just working on trying to tweak things and get things uh, back to where they once were. But uh, this is my Crystal Red Colony. They're still doing good, uh, producing like crazy. Um, I had really dwindled this colony down uh, due to a lot of, uh, due to, just because I sold a lot of them. So I'm kind of rebuilding it at this point. You can see a lot of juvies in there. But um, yeah, these guys are still doing good. Um, and I, I still can sell some, not a lot, but if you're interested um, at all in, um, you know, these are just a, like an A through S lower grade crystal red, but if you're interested in getting started with some crystal reds or just building to your colony let me know um, anything I've got available for sale you can contact me on the email um, in the description underneath this video but anyway enough of that um, these guys are doing good and I'm still even though they're a low-grade shrimp um, they're still one of my absolute favorites I don't know why I just really like the red and white color and uh, they're just really fun to watch so uh, moving on next door here is the uh, Black Pinto slash Pinto Michelin tank. I guess we would still call it that. Um, doing real well. Um, some of the uh, juvies I bought from Daryl a few months ago are um, starting to get some decent size on them. And uh, quite a few uh, with the Michelin colors in here, which I'm going to probably call out and... Uh, either move to their own tank or put them in with my Thai B tank, which I'll show you later. Um, but overall, things are going good in this tank. Um, some breeding going on and things like that. Need to uh, kind of mow the lawn here in both of these tanks. Um, but yeah, doing pretty good. Uh, next door is the uh, another crystal red tank, which is uh, more of a higher grade. I guess you'd say SS to SSS. Um, <clears throat> I've got these available if anyone's looking for some. They're breeding real well for me. Um, seem to be a real hardy shrimp. Um, again, email in the description if you are looking for some of these. Um, email me and we'll work something out. This is probably right now my most, uh, I guess you'd say thriving colony. They're breeding the most and really seen the most growth over the past few months with these guys. Next door here are the PRLs. I just haven't seen a whole lot of breeding going on at all in this tank now for a few months. So that's um, something I need to work on. We'll get that figured out um, and uh, you know, kind of go from there. I have some ideas as to what may be causing slowdowns in some of my tanks and I'm working on getting that rectified but parameter issue basically so hoping that that's it um, but yeah these guys though you know they're not dying off on me or anything like that they're just uh, not multiplying which is what Although, as I'm saying this, I'm looking in the back of the tank and I see a little baby back there. So, there has been some going on, I guess, which is positive. Uh, right here are the, oh, sorry about the algae on this tank, the glass, but um, these are the Super Crystal Reds. And they're, you know, I, <clears throat> there's been a little bit of breeding. As you can see, there's some smaller shrimp in there. There's also been some die off, not a ton, but you know, every so often I'll, I'll find a dead one in here. Um, so I got to work at uh, this colony too, at trying to get um, it to multiply a lot more so that the, so that the, this colony can grow as well. But uh, 
overall okay, I guess I would say, as far as what's been going on there. Mixed Taiwan B tank below. Same story, not a lot of breeding, but uh, no deaths or anything like that. So, got to work on getting things changed so that the breeding uh, kicks into gear in this tank. It's frustrating, but at the same time, you know, patience and, and just working on it, I, I think I can get the things going real well. So. But yeah, we'll move over here to these eight tanks. Uh, the Blue Dreams up here are doing decent. I've got enough of these where I can sell some if you're interested in some Blue Dreams. Again, shoot me an email at the email in the description if you want, uh, want to try to order some of those. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they've been doing pretty good lately. Um, a lot of babies, a lot of juvies in there, so can't complain about that. Uh, the red pintos are doing okay. Um, I don't see as many as I once did, but I haven't found any dead bodies either. Um, so I'm not sure if they've died off and gotten eaten or decayed away, and I haven't noticed, or if there's a lot of hiding going on. Um, and at one point there was some breeding um, where I'd see babies and bury females and whatnot and I haven't seen any of that now in a month or two so kind of scratching my head on that a little bit too but uh, sorry about that algae there you can't really get a real good view on, on these guys but still one of my favorites must be something with the red and the white that I really like I'll go over here right now so that I can get the upper ones first. So this is the uh, one of the red Neo tanks, the ones that uh, were from the Savage Red line. I need to definitely do some culling. I haven't done that lately and you're seeing that there's some that have turned out not quite as bright red as they should, but there's also some really nice ones in there. There's some buried females as well. So overall doing pretty good up there. Uh, the tank that used to be the uh, Royal Blue Tiger is empty, um, waiting for um, me to decide what I want to put in there, I guess. Uh, these are the, uh, the other reds. You know, these are kind of a mixed bag, if you will, um, from cherries all the way up to I guess you could say fire reds probably and they've been doing decent although as I'm talking I see some planaria in there so I'm gonna have to do something about that um, but there's also a bunch of babies on the back wall I don't know if you can see that so um, continue to try to work on this tank as well down below crystal blacks not much new to report there. You know, there's a few babies in there, a few juvies, so there has been some breeding, just not as much as I'd like. Um, but, you know, I'm going to keep working on this colony too, just like everything else I'm kind of saying today. Um, this tank has been doing real good. These are kind of a mixture. I call it my white tank, but there's golden bees and then there's whites that have come from my higher grade crystal red tank and you can see a couple actual crystal reds in there that I need to call out and then a few whites that came from my uh, red bolts with Taiwan bees so this is kind of a mixture I can actually see one back there that's kind of a more of a red bolt that I'll also need to yank out of there but just kind of having fun with this um, kind of like the the shrimp that are just solid white with no striping on it, so that's kind of what the why I've been doing that. Uh, down here is my Thai B tank. Really been thriving. A lot of uh, there's the lone. Well, oh, that's not a royal blue tiger, but it's a blue one. This this colony started from a royal blue tiger being bred with a PRL, and that's how I got these Thai Bs. And then now they've just kind of continued to breed. 
At one point, they were mixed in with my black Pintos. Um, when I first got my first little handful of black Pintos, so if any breeding happened there, there could be some black Pinto genes in these as well. These I've got available for sale if anybody's looking as well. I'm not going to separate out my pattern or color or anything. It'll just be they'll just be sold as a mixed tie B, I'll call them, and uh, you get what you get. Um, because there is quite a few different patterns and colors and stuff, as you can see. I wish I would have thought about cleaning that algae before starting here, but anyway, you can see that there's a bunch of stuff in there as far as variety goes. Just kind of a fun, fun tank for me as well. Um, all sorts of generations as far as the teeniest, teeniest newborns up to adults. So it's been going good. We'll go upstairs and I'll have you look at the last two tanks and then we'll close this video out. Okay, so this is the Royal Blue Tiger only tank. And I'm not sure if I talked about this in the last video or not, but I had a major die off in here. Just, I'm probably down to just like, I don't know, five. Um, blue, did I say Royal Blue Tigers before? I meant Blue Bolts if I said Royal Blue Tigers, sorry. Um, but, uh, so that's a bummer. All the parameters check out and everything's okay, so I'm not sure what happened. I'll just give it another shot. I did move some shrimp from my mixed Taiwan B tank into here, some blue bolts. So that could have been what happened, possibly. Um, I don't, I don't know, because everything's fine in that tank too, as you saw. But that's that. And then over here is the wine red tank, and um, same story there. I've just got like five or six adults, no breeding. I'm not very good at sexing shrimp, so I'm not sure they could all be males. I'm not sure what's going on. But we'll probably add some to this at some point uh, to try to kickstart things as well. Alright YouTube, well that's really all I've got for you on this month's shrimp update. Um, I appreciate everybody that does subscribe. Um, it really means a lot to me. Um, everybody that comments and likes these videos as well. Do me a favor too, if you if you would share this video on any outlet possible, that would really help. You know, I make videos <clears throat> on my shrimp, my freshwater fish, and my saltwater fish. And the funny thing is, is my audience is really concentrated on the freshwater fish because those videos get thousands and thousands of uh, views, whereas the shrimp and the saltwater videos get less than a thousand every time. So I'm just not reaching that audience and it'd be really cool to be able to interact with more shrimp keepers. So um, if, you, if you think of it uh, and you have a means of sharing um, videos on Facebook or other social media platforms, please do. I'd like to get, uh, I'd like to get these videos uh, in front of people that are into shrimp keeping as well. So, um, and if you keep fish and you're interested in fish food, I don't wanna keep doing sales pitches here, but I do sell Southern Delight fish food. Um, you can also email me about that if you're interested. Um, it's a great fish food for cichlids, saltwater fish, any type of fish really, any type of tropical fish. So let me know about that as well. But until next time, thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you later.